Time now for the morning rush. Lawmakers will be meeting in Santa Fe discussing new election boundaries, which could have major political implications. Right now, the Senate is just reviewing the congressional map, those recommendations that were put together by a small citizen committee. The other focus is, is deciding on how the stimulus money will be spent. In the meantime, a bill has been filed laying out how lawmakers can spend about half of the remaining COVID stimulus funding. The bill filed by State Rep Patricia Lundstrom would appropriate more than $142 million for road repairs, tourism, affordable housing and higher education. State Senator Jacob Candelaria has now changed his party affiliation to decline to state. While addressing the Roundhouse yesterday, he said that both Democrats and Republicans need to start using common sense and work together. Happening today, it's a special election day in Albuquerque. District 7 and 9 will elect new city councilors. 16 voting centers will be open from 7 o'clock. That's 10 minutes away to 7 p.m. We have details and election resources on our website, krqe.com. Erica. Here's a look at the school day forecast. It's cool out there this morning. Temps in the upper 30s. We'll be waking up with cloud cover and staying mostly cloudy through the day. Temperatures will be cool in the afternoon. Without the sun, you'll want to keep around those extra layers. Albuquerque City Councilors will continue discussion on the fate of more than $100 million in city money as after a proposal on how to spend it fails. Councilors Brooke Basson and Clarissa Pena, they introduced a proposal using gross receipts taxes to fund a variety of projects. One of the focus was on the projects that are already approved, but it's still in need of more funding. The Magdalena community continues to mourn the loss of the girls' basketball coach Marlene Greenwood and her eight-year-old great-niece. Saturday morning, Greenwood and her great-niece were killed in a crash on US-60. State police tell us the crash is still under investigation. It does not appear that alcohol was a factor. Anyone who works in New York City will have to be vaccinated before the new year. That order, which covers employees who work in person at private companies, includes more than 3 million people, all who must have at least one dose by December 27th. Erica. All right, here's a look at the New Mexico Threat Index. We will have that chance for spotty rain and snow in the northwest. Use caution on those mountain roads near Pagosa Springs because of snow. And we will be windier by this afternoon across the east. That will be a north-south crosswind. A man accused of causing a Greyhound bus to crash on I-40 is now facing charges. On Sunday night, state police say that Leroy Moss threw an object at another passenger on the bus, jumped over a plexiglass barrier, and then grabbed the steering wheel. According to the criminal complaint, five passengers were injured. The man accused of killing his uncle was found not guilty on all counts, including first-degree murder. In June of 2020, police say 25-year-old Joshua Martinez shot and killed Curtis Martinez at a home near Copper in Wyoming. Martinez had claimed his uncle was trying to run him over when he opened fire. A pack of UNM Lobos is letting their classmates know that they are not alone. For two days last month, 60 students walked around campus handing out cards with the message, You are not alone. The effort was aimed at helping students with the feelings of isolation over the last two years feel connected. Erica. And here's a look at the traffic maps. We are looking clear on the maps, no accidents or slowdowns. And here's a check on the big eye, a gloomy start to the day, and we're going to see rush hour coming up soon. Speed cubers from across the globe competed for the virtual 2021 Rubik's Cube World Cup final over the weekend. American Max Park with a lightning quick solve of 6.1 seconds was crowned the world champ. Welcome back on this day in 1978. Heavy snow fell in southern New Mexico. Snow reports came in around 11 to 16 inches for those southern counties. And we will see our next winter storm arriving here on Thursday and Friday. Time now for the five facts. At number five, a pack of UNM Lobos is letting their classmates know that they are not alone. For two days last month, 60 students walked around campus handing out cards with the message, you are not alone. The effort was spawned in a conflict management course taught by Heidi Ricci. Now, it was aimed at helping students with feelings of isolation over the last two years feel connected. Ricci says that she plans to host a walk every semester. On to number four now, the Socorro County community continues to mourn the loss of the girls Magdalena basketball coach and her eight-year-old great niece. On Saturday morning, Marlene Greenwood and her great niece Rayland Rosales were killed in a crash on Highway 60 when they yielded to the shoulder for a semi before they were rear-ended and then pushed into the path of that truck. Assistant coach Sarah Sue Olney will be taking over the program. State police tell us the crash is still under investigation. It does not appear that alcohol was a factor. And at number three, it's going to be a warmer day today. Will it be especially warmer on the east side of the state? Temperature is climbing 10 to 20 degrees from yesterday's highs and will be back into the 50s and 60s. Number two now, Albuquerque City Councilors will continue discussion on the fate of more than $100 million in city money after a proposal on how, it is, how it's spent fails. 
Uh, Councilors Brooke Basson and Clarissa Pena introduced a proposal using gross receipts taxes to fund a variety of projects. One focus was on projects already approved but still in need of more funding. Others address public safety as well as homelessness. The bill needed approval from seven out of the nine councilors. It only got approval from five. And number one, lawmakers will be meeting in Santa Fe discussing new election boundaries, which could have major political implications. Right now, the Senate is just reviewing the congressional map recommendations that were put together by a small citizen committee. Some of these changes could swing which party could end up having control in that district come election time. A big question right now is how much of Albuquerque could be shifted to District 2. Some of the proposed plans would pair lawmakers with the same party together. The other focus is deciding on, this, on how the stimulus money will be spent in New Mexico.